industry inside a nutshell. The show where we sail into our port of call discussing maritime history. In the run up to Halloween, the channel has decided to do something completely different. And although these feline friends have something to do with ships, let's just be honest and let's just say that this video will probably give you all the purrs. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't really think of a better uh, introduction to say it, but there we go. But anyway, for Halloween, we hope you enjoy the Black Cats video. History and appreciation for Black Cats. When it comes to describing man's best friend, people often associate their chosen animals with dogs. However, others prefer to have a feline companion instead. This isn't the case for one breed of cats, as they have been considered unlucky in the centuries. This is because of superstition and myth that they are associated with witches and Satan, or the devil themselves. This burrito cat is a black cat, although this didn't start that way. In ancient Egypt, black and other burrito cats were considered to bring good luck to their owners. There was even a goddess called Bestet, the goddess of cats who was seen as a guardian against disease and evil spirits. Bestet was also the goddess of fertility and childbirth. Many art artifacts were made to honor the cats. They were treated like royalty at home, and they were made sure as they were fed and mummified after they died. If a person killed or injured a cat, the punishment was death. In the 8th century, sailors and fishermen would have black cats as sailing companions to catch rats on board their small vessels or ships and monitor their behaviors to predict the weather. Interestingly, these predictions include sneezing as a sign of rain, snoring as a sign of being prepared for bad weather, and self-grooming saying that good weather is approaching. However, in the Middle Ages, black caps became bad luck for people who own them or who would come across one. It's not known when these superstitions about them originated, but it is believed that the cats were a sign of the devil in disguise or they would steal souls from human beings. By the 12th century, People who were associated with and worshipping black cats would be a criminal offense, especially when it came to the identification of witches. Pope Innocent VIII even declared that black cats were the devil's favorite animal and idol of witches. In the Pope's home country of Italy, it is believed that a black cat is a sign of death if it lay on the bed of a sick person. In the 17th century, when the Puritans came to the New World and settled into a small town named Salem, the town flew into a rage and fear. These events became the infamous Salem Witch Trials. As well as the many people who were accused of being witches and performing black magic, black cats were accused and put on trial too. If they were found guilty, they would face severe punishments including being burnt at the stake on Shrove Tuesday. But why Shrove Tuesday, you may ask? While the residents of Salem thought that the burning of the black cats before Lent would bring good luck and protection from fires burning their homes down. Aside from historical events, there have been many myths about the black cat superstitions, including one story from ancient Greeks. According to Greek mythology, in one story, Zeus's wife Hera once transformed her servant into a black cat as punishment for impeding the birth of Hercules. In the 21st century, black cats are less likely to be adopted. However, in popular culture, especially during Halloween, black cats have become popular icons. Most black cats in film and TV include Salem Saberhagen from Sabrina the Teenage Witch. I don't need your pity. Or your... <gasps> Jerry, my favorite. And Binks from Hocus Pocus. I told you I can't die. Daddy, you all right? Yeah. Okay, then let's go. In some countries, black cats are associated with good luck, especially if a black cat crosses people's paths. In England, black cats bring good luck to newly wedded couples and they would bless marriage unions. They would also bring protection to sailors caught in rough seas. In Scotland, a black cat that appears on a doorstep is a sign of increasing financial wealth. In Japan, black cats bring wealth and prosperity. And for those who believe in theoretical superstition, seeing a black cat inside a theater on opening night brings fortune to plays who would have a long, successful run. Every year on the 17th of August in the United States, there is a day event for black cats which is known as Black Cat Appreciation Day. They are celebrated on social media, including our own History Inside a Nutshell Discord server where you users would share stories or pictures of their feline friends. And of course, with special permission, 
the users have shared pictures of their cats to celebrate their love and appreciation for their cats. to give a massive big thank you to DK for narrating this video and also a big massive thank you to DK's cats Smokey and Cubby for approving the script as they got the seal of approval. <laughs> Thanks guys and just a quick announcement even though I have done lots of non-maritime related videos on this channel I have decided that the Black Cats video will be the last video that's non-maritime related to be uploaded on the channel. Instead, I'm going to be transferring all the non-maritime related videos onto a new YouTube channel and that is called Journey Through the Ages. A few new videos are up now and I will leave a link to the channel in the description box down below. I cannot wait to see you then on the other side. If you enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe for future videos. Until next time, this has been History Inside a Nutshell, departing from the dogs. Thank you so much for all of your support and enjoy the rest of your voyage.